And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at West Point. It is branch week and a chance for seniors here at West Point to talk to representatives of the different branches in the U.S. Army. And we have a chance to talk to a West Point grad, and that is First Lieutenant Christy White, who's uh, in military intelligence. Christy, how's it good, good, how is it for you to be back at West Point today? Hey, sir. Um, it's been great to be back at West Point for branch week. Uh, we've been here all week talking to cadets from all four classes. So it's not only for the seniors who are getting ready to put in their final branch preferences, it's also to familiarize cadets with all 17 branches um, and a few functional areas on um, what they're going to be commissioning into after graduation. Very good. Well, I remember I was reading Leon Panetta's book, the former uh, Secretary of State and uh, Secretary of Defense. He was in military intelligence uh, coming out of uh, ROTC. Tell us a little bit about uh, what are some of the roles that, and uh, responsibilities in military intelligence? Yeah, absolutely, sir. So in military intelligence, the bulk of lieutenants will serve um, in the battalion S2 shop um, as an assistant S2. So they'll work with their captain, who's going to be the battalion S2, and other all-source analysts to, uh, to find out where the enemy is on the map. Um, we provide that assessment as an S2 to uh, a maneuver commander so that they know where to put their firepower and they know where to place friendly troops. Um, if a lieutenant doesn't serve in an S2 position, they also have the opportunity to serve as a platoon leader and executive officer, which is, um, that's been my experience, serving as a platoon leader and now an executive officer. Well, I got to imagine the job and the role has changed uh, uh, from the days my dad was, did military intelligence after World War II in, uh, and in Korea. Uh, how has it changed in this whole world of digital, cyber, everything online? Uh, how, is it, what, how, does, what kind of, uh, uh, how does that change the, the job and the role of a military intelligence officer? Yeah, so I think um, an increased amount of technology in the military intelligence branch provides soldiers with the chance to do the mission um, from home station. So we don't only get to do the job that we signed up to do when we're in a deployed environment, we can also do the job um, from home station. Technology um, and the networks that cyber branch and the military intelligence branch have created the architecture for allows us to conduct geospatial intelligence or to conduct signals intelligence right there from our home station at Fort Bragg. Very good. And if you would tell us a little bit about your time at West Point, what did you study? Were there any major activities that you participated in? Yeah, yes, sir. I was in Company G3 as a plebe and Company H1 for my second through or for my second through fourth years. Um, I was recruited to run cross country and track here, um, and I did that before switching over to my company Sandhurst team. Um, when I was at West Point, I studied um, economics in the social department and studied uh, counterterrorism for my minor. Very good. And just tell us, uh, where, where, where are you from? Uh, where's your hometown? Um, I'm from Herndon, Virginia. It's a suburb of Washington, D.C. Very good. And uh, just what's the best uh, reason for a, uh, a, uh, a graduate of West Point, uh, one of the seniors, or even a senior in ROTC might be watching uh, to join military intelligence? Yeah. Um, the, the reason why I branch military intelligence and why someone else should consider it is that you'll always get the chance to make an impact on the branch, even at the highest levels. Um, even if you've been in the service for 10 to 15 years, you can still make contributions um, in, in contrast with another branch where there may be fair wear and tear on your body from being that boots on the ground or from always having to carry a heavy load. Uh, that's not been the case in military intelligence. You can uh, use your lessons learned as a junior officer um, and apply that at the highest level. So if you want to be that asset and you want to continue to make contributions, um, and have longevity in your career, military intelligence should be uh, your branch of choice. Very good. First Lieutenant Christy White from Virginia, great to see you. And uh, uh, really, on behalf of everyone at the American Legion, thank you for your service to our country. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Good to see you. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point.